Welcome students, staff and family and friends who are watching our 2020 presentation ceremony from home today. The year 2020 has certainly been an interesting one. However, today we are here to celebrate the resilience, determination and success of the students of Gorakin High School. I would like to invite Yasmin Baraza and our Dijin Dance Group to open the presentation for 2020. This will be followed by the National Anthem. Good morning, my name is Yasmin and I'm a proud Gamilaroi woman. I acknowledge the traditional owners of this land we stand on today. This land is and always will be Aboriginal land. I pay my respects to the elders, past and present, and to the leaders who have yet to come, who will carry on the hopes and dreams of our nation into the future. We recognise the strength, resilience and spirit of our nation's first people.
Thank you, Yasmin, our wonderful Dig and Dance group, Lily Grace and Princess. My name is Zach and I am proud to be elected as the school vice captain for Gorokan High School. I am joined today by Ella, also elected as school vice captain. It is our pleasure today to present the awards for stage five. This format of presentation is certainly different to years gone by and I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the staff who have contributed to the organisation and the technological support so that we have the opportunity to congratulate our very deserving students. The year 2020 has been a challenging one, ending 2019 with fires and moving into 2020 with storms and floods. Who would have thought that by the end of term one, we would find ourselves thrown into the midst of a global pandemic, grappling with the rapid change to online learning and coming to terms with the restrictions placed on our lives. The way we knew our life changed so quickly, going to the shops, eating out, Closed beaches and hand sanitising 50 times a day became the new normal. Schooling changed dramatically. Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, Zoom sessions and a scramble to provide work booklets began and in true Gorokan spirit, teachers and staff alike rose to the challenge. It was not always easy, but here we are today. Overcoming the obstacle of COVID restrictions and celebrating the achievements of the students of Gorokan High School. So thank you to all staff, office staff, and senior executive to getting us all to this point of the year. Congratulations to all students. Whether you're receiving an award or not, we congratulate you for your resilience. We congratulate you for your adaptability, and we congratulate you for showing up to 2020. I would now like to ask Mr. Boat to the lectern for the principal's address. Thank you, Zach, and thank you, Ella. Uh, I too would like to pay my respects uh, to Aboriginal people and elders, past, present, and emerging, and extend that welcome and acknowledgement to anyone who's joining us today, either live with us in the hall here or watching on and viewing at home. Part of the privileged position I'm in uh, enabled me to spend a little bit of time on country the last couple of days with Auntie Leslie and Uncle Dave Ella to learn about how culture has played such a crucial part in learning in this area for generations, hundreds and thousands of years. It's an absolute privilege to continue to be a custodian of learning on such beautiful country, and thank you for joining us today. It's also important that we celebrate 2020, and, and that's really what this is about today. It's a celebration of what you as students have achieved, but there's a group who can't be with us today and it's really important that we acknowledge the role that our parents and carers and those people who pick us up in the home, who make sure we've got what we need, who provide inspiration, connection, and sometimes grounding for us when we go home. And they're our parents and carers. Can I please get you to give them a huge round of applause for the role they've played this year? This year ask them to become educators, leaders of learning in the home, and it was a massive undertaking. And I know as a school community, we appreciated the efforts that they went to and the way they partnered with us to sustain learning through a really challenging time. Schools are an absolutely amazing institution. At our best, we have the privilege of nurturing dreams. Some of those are clearly planned maps with every step aligned, every part of the process clearly understood and a determined and dedicated student following that path to their dreams. Some are simply a speck of a thought that sit there in the back of our mind, awaiting for the right connection, awaiting to be nurtured and developed and fulfilled. We call this aspiration in education, aspiration is like the golden ticket of student success, motivating students to work towards and realise their dreams. And all schools want their students to aspire. But the challenge and the downside is 
aspiration can't actually be taught. The best we can do is nurture a culture of self-confidence, a culture of self-agency where you believe that you're the one who can make the change for yourself. And optimism in your ability to realise your dreams. And we do this through the experiences we provide for you here at Gorican High School. And these are the experiences that you're being recognised for today. So what do we ask you to bring to this partnership? Self-belief. Self-belief is a really fickle thing. And I'm sure by your age, many of you have experienced it abandoning you at the times that you need it most. Whether it's before a performance, a school speech, taking the sporting field, having a conversation with someone. So often, our self-doubts become a stronger voice than our self-belief. However, aspiration relies on self-belief. So I ask you to put your award today somewhere prominent in your house, in your room, somewhere that you will see it on those days when self-doubt is stronger than your self-belief, so that you will see it and realise what you accomplished in a year full of so many challenging circumstances and realise that it's just that voice of self-belief that you need to give room to tell you that you are capable, tell you you can do it, tell you to follow your dreams and tell you to aspire and to continue to aim high. I'd like to offer a sincere congratulations to all of you today as award recipients and encourage you to continue to dream, continue to aspire and continue to aim high. Well done. I would now like to ask our Year 9 award recipients to the side of the stage if the audience in the hall could wait until requested to applaud our awards recipients today. Jake Adamson, first in subject for Science A Stream. Charlotte Bishop, first in subject, Pass Girls Academy of Sport. Jay Churches, first in subject, Physical Activity and Sports Studies. Chase Krasafi, first in subject, 5Y Food Technology. Talia Featon, first in subject, Mathematics 5.2. Mitchell Field, first in subject, Engineering, Diligence in Design. Talia Finn, first in subject, English Selective and Music. Charlie Guyler Wood, first in subject, industrial technology, timber. Brielle Harris, first in subject, mathematics 5.3. Amber Herder, first in subject, 
food technology, child studies. Ruby Hilliam, first in subject, 5Y visual arts. Please join me in congratulating our award recipients. Minia Lassianite, first in subject, history, mathematics 5.3, science, PDHPE selective, and 5Y marine studies. Sophie Lawson, first in subject, 5Y music. Adam O'Neill Williams, first in subject, Science B Stream. Talis Pedavoli, first in subject, History. Harrison Plora, first in subject, 5Y Marine Studies. Natalie Remond, first in subject, 5Y Pastry Chef and English. Dylan Ross, first in subject, 5Y Industrial Technology, Timber. Joshua Sanig, first in subject, Marine Studies. Dean Searle, first in subject, visual art and geography. Isabella Taylor, first in subject, mathematics 5.1. Please join me in congratulating our award recipients. Congratulations to all of our award recipients. For our viewers at home, we will be taking momentary break from the live stream. Keep calm, we will be back shortly with a music performance from Shaylee Morris.
I would now like to ask our Year 10 award recipients to the side of the stage. This year, due to work experience, a number of our award recipients are away. We will still be reading out the awards received in their absence. If the audience in the hall could wait until requested to applaud our award recipients today. Max Agosta, first in subject, Science B Stream. Tanisha Barnsley, first in Marine Studies. Rachel Buckley, first in History. Cameron Cheney, first in subject Geography Selective. Isabella Crowley, first in Geography and Science A Stream. Toby Dowdle, first in PDHPE, English Selective, Music and 5Y STEM. Akira Dwyer, first in App Development. Lachlan Jones, first in 5Y Physical Activity and Sports Studies. Riley Lamp, first in Mathematics 5.1. Tyson Longett, first in Subject Mathematics 5.2. Please congratulate the award recipients. Andrew Late, first in engineering. Nicola Muirhead, first in Pass Girls Academy of Sport. Chloe Neves, first in industrial technology timber. Eliza O'Loughlin, first in Mathematics 5.3. Charlize Raymond, first in Japanese. Tanea Small Blaker, first in Photography. Cameron Smider, First in Mathematics 5.3 and Science Selective, Food Technology and Design. Yuki Soriano, first in Japanese. Daniel Su, first in Physical Activity and Sports Studies. Amy Rose Willing, first in Child Studies, English and Japanese. Please join me in congratulating our award recipients. I'd like to invite our next musical performance to the stage from Luke and Zach Vincent. Zach will then return to announce the special awards. Thank you. 
Thank you very much to Luke and Zach. It is with great pleasure that I announce the special awards for 2020. The PNC awards are presented to students who have shown a positive attitude and application to their work throughout the school year. The first of our two year nine PNC awards goes to Isabel Lang. Over the course of her time at Gorakin High School, Isabel has continually strived to be a positive member of the school community. Her resilience and positive attitude is commendable and is, and is an inspiration to her peers. Isabel applies herself to her studies with 100% effort and is always looking for additional opportunities to improve her learning. Congratulations, Isabel, on your positive contributions to Gorakin High School this year. And the second of our Year 9 PNC Awards goes to Mitchell Field. Mitchell has continually demonstrated his commitment to learning at Gorakin High School. He has worked to the best of his ability and achieved remarkable results in all subjects. Mitchell has demonstrated his leadership with his involvement in the peer support group and in various groups in order to aid in the social development of his fellow students. Mitchell's dedication to learning, the school and its community has been truly commendable and he is a worthy recipient of this award. The first of our Year 10 PNC Awards goes to Tanisha Barnsley. Tanisha is an exemplary student who continually strives to achieve her personal best. Tanisha has an overall attendance of greater than 93%, which is a testament to her work ethic and application towards her studies. Tanisha is a student who is always dependable and exudes kindness and happiness. Tanisha should be congratulated for not only being an outstanding student, but an outstanding human as well. And the second of our Year 10 PNC Awards goes to Arnott Cantwell. Arnott is a charismatic and kind student who consistently portrays the school's core values. Arnott has an overall attendance of greater than 94%, which is an attestation of his commitment toward his education. Arnott is an exemplary student who should be congratulated for his ability to demonstrate what it takes to succeed over a long period of time. Please join me in congratulating all of our PNC Award recipients. The Battle of Long Tan holds a special place in the hearts and minds of Australians. In recognition of one of the defining moments in Australian military history, in August 2006, the then Prime Minister announced that it would be fitting to name the awards the ADF Long Tan Youth Leadership and Teamwork Awards. It is also a fitting tribute to the Long Tan veterans, as the very traits they demonstrated, such as determination, mateship, teamwork, tenacity, compassion, and leadership, are the same attributes we hope to encourage and recognise in students. The Year 10 recipient of the Long Tan Youth Award for Leadership and Teamwork is Toby Dowdle. Now, Toby, I want you to stay right there. I've got a little something written down for you. I'm going against the script here. I think I've surprised everyone. So, um, Mum, Nan, if you're watching at home, get the tissues ready. I'm very, very sorry if I make you cry. <laughs> Don't walk off on me. I know you're embarrassed and you're on the internet, but no need. I'm not quite sure what words can do justice for how much of an amazing person you are, but I'm going to try and put some together. You've done it again. You've made me one of, no, no, you've made me the proudest big brother in the world. I've lost count of how many times I've said this to you, or anyone else for that matter, but now I feel as though I need to say it live on the internet, just to embarrass you a little bit more. All jokes aside, you never cease to amaze me with your extensive list of achievements, but yet you remain so humble, so friendly and approachable. 
when I look at you hanging out with all your friends every day, I never fail to appreciate how much you have blossomed as a person since your first day at Gorakin, both as a person and as a leader. Your friends are incredibly lucky to have you as a friend, just as you are equally lucky to have them as your friends, as I'm sure you're already aware. The Long Tan Award is a perfect representation of the incredible person you have become, and is something you should be so, so proud of. You've seen for the past year how this award is front and centre on my bookshelf in my bedroom, and how much pride I had in receiving this award at last year's presentation ceremony. Now that you've received this prestigious award, I want you to recognise how special this award is, not only to you, me and our family, but also to those who fought that bloody battle in Long Tan in 1966, and their relatives also. I'm sure that whatever you decide to do with your life, you are going to excel in it. So just make sure it's something with plenty of money involved. It'll make it much easier for me to ask for a loan without feeling guilty afterwards. I couldn't be prouder of you, mate. Congratulations once again. The ADF have developed a new award in 2020, celebrating and acknowledging young Australians studying and showing excellence in the areas of science, technology, engineering and maths. A worthy recipient of this year's first ADF Future Innovators Award demonstrates excellence in these areas and a genuine commitment to improving areas of Gorakin High School with flair and creativity. A worthy recipient of the ADF Future Innovators Award, Cameron Smider. I will now hand it over to Ella to read out the second half of our special awards. Our, Di our Da Vinci Awards for 2020 are awarded to students who are enrolled in our selective cohort who demonstrate the diligence and commitment to their studies in the high potential and gif gifted education area. Award recipients are selected by the teachers of selective classes and nominated by Dr. Rubman. Please join me in congratulating our Stage 5 Da Vinci winners. For Year 9, Siddharth Rayavarapu. For Year 10, Cameron Cheney. <laughs> the Stage 5 Kappa Awards are awarded to students who have shown promise and and dedication to one or more of the arts. The students receiving this award today have been long-standing performers at Gorakin High School and have overcome many challenges in order to pursue excellence in their chosen area of performance. Congratulations to the worthy recipients of the Stage 5 Kappa Awards. Toby Dowdle, Luke Vincent. And Brianna Dovey. The 2020 Year Advisor Awards are chosen, chosen by the Year Advisors and are awarded to students demonstrating overall achievement in different areas, including academic, creative arts, sport and community service. The recipients of the Year, Award, the year Advisor Awards are Year 9, Olivia Charlton. Olivia's contributions to Gorakin High School over the last three years have made long-lasting and positive impacts for its community. 
She has been a valuable member of the Student Representative Council and was responsible for raising funds to increase the awareness of human impact on the environment. Olivia is a dedicated friend and is always looking for ways to support her peers, social and mental health. Olivia's contributions cannot be overstated and she is a worthy recipient of this award. <laughs> Year 10 is Cameron Cheney. Cameron is an exemplary role model at Gorokan High School and has received well over 100 positive entries. These reflect his diligence to the school, work across all KLAs, but also reflect his ability to assist his peers in times of need. Cameron is respected by both his peers and staff and is a worthy recipient of the 2020 Year Advisors Award. <laughs> that concludes the awards presentation for Stage 4. Year, stage five, year nine, nine and 10. Please join me in congratulating all the award recipients for 2020. Due to the COVID restrictions, we have been unable to have many of our special guests join us and congratulate our students. Please join me in watching some special guests congratulating our award recipients for 2020. Good morning to all the fabulous team of Gorokan High School. It's wonderful to still be able to be, have some part in your celebrations this morning via this video and hope you thoroughly enjoy every minute of your presentation morning as you're heading into the holiday period. I'm joining you from Darkham Young Lane this morning and wish to pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging and pay my respects to any Aboriginal people who are present in this celebration this morning. I want to send a heartfelt congratulations to every single person who has been part of the Gorokan High School team through what has been a tumultuous and extraordinary year for everyone. I recognise and understand the difficulty this brought for the leadership team, the staff, and for all the students. And there is some comfort in the notion that we were not in this difficult time alone and that it was shared with all our fellow educators, students, and parents across the world. To all the staff, thank you for the resilience, dedication, diligence, and collegiality that you brought to work or on Zoom every day to lighten the load and brighten those around you with your students always at the centre of your decision making. Thank you to the support you rallied around Ms Singleton and then Mr Boak in his transition into the role as your new principal. Congratulations to both of them for leading through extraordinary times and to Mr Collins and Ms Cost for the strength they brought and continue to bring to the team. To our families, congratulations for your support of Gorokan High School through many avenues, including working closely with your children's teachers through the learning from home period and for understanding the value and important roles that their teachers play in their lives. Most importantly to the students of Gorokan High School, the reason all of the adults head to work every day and why they choose their path into education was to have a positive impact on you and to make a difference for you. Congratulations to Aki and Joel and your team for leading your students through 2020. This year has not been an easy one for students, but the resilience and many soft skills that you have developed from it will take you very far in life. If anything, this year has taught us that there are some things we can't control in life, but that we can always control how we respond to them. All the very best to Taniqua and Harry and the 2021 year school leaders for next year. Congratulations on a phenomenal year, everyone, and all the very best for a well-earned break to spend quality time with those that are important to you. Have a safe and restful break, and I'm looking forward to working closely with you in 2021. Hi, my name's the Inspector Matt Leclerc and I'm the Wyong Unit Commander of the New South Wales State Emergency Service. I would like to congratulate all the award recipients for 2020. It's been an incredibly tough year and the resilience you have shown through the fires, floods, storms and the COVID-19 pandemic is to be commended. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate the recipients of the Long Tan Awards. These awards have been a long-standing tradition at Gorokan High School and reflect the capacity your student body has towards leadership, teamwork and innovation. Congratulations to Toby Dowdle, Cameron Smider, Archie Twyford and Stephanie Sue for demonstrating the qualities and attributes that reflect the heart of these awards. 
The Rotary Club of North Lakes Tugley would like to congratulate Jali Douglas for your contribution to the school community. You were selected because your efforts align with the Rotary ethos of service above self. So congratulations. And congratulations to all other recipients here today. You make Gorikin High School very proud. Hello everyone, Mr Zammett here, proud principal of Gorikin Public School. Congratulations to all the award recipients who are acknowledged at this presentation day ceremony. We're so lucky to have so many talented and hardworking students within our community. You've done well to excel in these unprecedented times and are a real inspiration to everyone around you. And for this, I congratulate you and hope that you enjoy your moment of recognition. Keep striving to be the best that you can be. Well done. On behalf of the English faculty, we would like to congratulate all award recipients. You should be very proud of your achievements. On behalf of the English faculty, we would like to wish you all a very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Congratulations to all the award recipients for a great year. Well, well done. done. Congratulations. Congratulations, uh, all award recipients, especially year nine. I'm very proud of you. But more importantly, year 10. Congratulations, you're the best. But most importantly, year nine, you did better. That's not true. We'll just call it stage five. Well done. Yeah. And stage four, you go okay. Stage six, good job. Stage five is where it's at. Congratulations. Year 10, good work. And you know. A special thank you to Nadine and Kane from Keys Plus Lake Haven. Coles Lake Haven, Mr. Jesmond Zamet from Gorican Public School, Miss Jackie Buchanan from Tukley Public School, Miss Jan Pryor from Rotary Club Tukley, Unit Commander Wyong SES, Mr. Matthew Leclerc, Australian Defence Force, Megan Avery, Director of Educational Leadership and Caltech. Thank you and goodbye.